here and then something's there You never know what lies just right to hell I said, everyone just thinks they know it all But I'll tell you one thing they don't It's kind of funny but I can't see it I was just coming back to what you believe I better run while you can You never know it's gonna catch up with you now It's kind of funny, but I think I kind of like the way Everything just seems to be a working now I'll give it up, I won't even try to deal with it I'll have it one time Times I don't understand The way it all seems to go Well, I just get the will to be Do it all while you can Welcome to Backyard Flanking. My name is Charles. I'll be your host as we go through and explore everything BB and pellet related from air pistols to air rifles, targets, and ammo. Not that today. This. It's from Crossman. The 760 Pump Master. Obviously, it's uh, made for smaller individuals, but just as much fun for us big folks. This one to shoot um, BBs or pellets. Um, I think it advertises about 700 feet per, per second. Take it out of the box. It's got a buckhorn sight. It does have elevation on it. The front sight, you will have to get some white paint and dot the front sight. In the box, it has one of the little Crossman scopes some one of the ones I'm, we've seen them before you know they're not a whole lot it is in the box use it if you want to but you know how I feel about them for the iron sight so this is the neat part see the gap that's in there it actually comes with a little magazine put five rounds in it, pull a bolt back, and you push it in there. Now, what happens is, when you line the first one up, now there's a pellet in it. And it's ready to shoot. Got a little kick to it. So when you get ready for the next one, pull a bolt back, push it over one click. Now it's loaded again. And you can do this five times. This, you kidding? That's awesome. Why don't they do that to all of them? I mean, me and my big fumble fingers and whatnot trying to get that. I'd buy it. I did buy it. Move it over one click. I mean, how easy is that? And it's not real hard to pump. The trigger on it's pretty smooth. Um, it's not a lot of struggle, even if you're talking about a younger individual, because it's a shorter length. It's a lot easier for them to be able to handle. Mm. A little right. But it also shoots BBs. Now, this is a little bit of a different trick. 
on the rear, there's a little slide. So to load the rounds, you pull it all the way up. You pour the BBs in. You pull it all the way down. You're gonna have to turn it and twist it to get it up. On the slots that are in here, it will actually let BBs fill up into the slot. Once you get them in there, you put this thing at a half cock position, halfway in between, they're locked in. So I hadn't put any, I just took it out of the box. I hadn't tried it, so let's try that. Take these little fellas. <laughs> these, another great thing from Daisy, the little, well, they used to call them penny packs. There's like 150 that'd be in there. They were in a little cellophane thing or on a big roll to take one tear it off you know if you had five pennies you can get five packs yeah that was a long time ago back around 48 49 about the time that the uh, red rider came in to be so now this thing says it'll hold 18 um, in the top magazine and about 200 of them I think bulk All right, so on now. twisting motion Stay right there. Yep. I was just trying to get it down there. There's a small magnet, and a lot of times with with most of these things, believe it or not, if you don't know that, there's generally be a small magnet that's right on the end of the. Uh, um, the bolt that'll pick the BBs up. So that's the reason a lot of times if you see me one have one that has um, this one's a little bit different because of the magazine. The magazine will actually be able to go through and block the BBs and stuff off. But if you see me use one that has either pellets and or BBs, a lot of times there won't be any BBs in it if I'm shooting only pellets. But I do have to tilt it down a little bit to get it to travel, but they're all still trapped right there in the magazine. It has to stay in that uh, halfway position. If you Pull the little push button lever back. It releases all of them. They all fall out. So then you got to start all over again with the. So, what I thought that was pretty nifty. This I love. Maybe there's some other manufacturers out there that would be willing to do that. I mean, especially if you got one that only has a, a single port opening, if you have one that has an optic on it or something like that, and you're trying to get, you know, somebody told me about the pellet pins. Yeah, the pellet pins are fine as long as you're going straight on for like a breech load or something like that, but trying to get one in at an angle sideways, uh, not so much. That would be awesome. Let's see if we can get one of the little ones. And with five, five different rounds in the little magazine, that's more than enough for to be able to load at one time and not have to stop and fumble around.
<laughs> just pull it out, reload it, and start again. This was like $25 to $29. Not bad. Cute little thing. That's nice having your collection. Like I said, it's really easy for a younger individual to be able to use um, BBs and or pellets. And that, I, I love that. That is just awesome. So, anyway, if you run across one of these, well worth the money. Hmm. Till next time, my name is Charles. This has been Backyard Plinky.